Hi guys, what's good? Welcome back. So today we're watching My Hero Academia season 4 episode 3 slash 66. Um, last week's episode <laughs> was super weird. Um, it basically ended off with Midoriya attempting to make Sir Night Eye laugh um, alongside Media. And <laughs> it was so bizarre. Um, I'm really excited to see it continue. He epically failed from what we know. He like offended um, All Might or whatever. <laughs> And so Sir Knight, I did not laugh, but, you know, maybe we're going to see what's going to make him give the okay, considering how, you know, he's still, like, All Might's under pu pupil. He's his pupil. <laughs> so, considering how he's still All Might's successor, he's probably really going to be down to help. Nonetheless, let's just get right into it and let's just, <laughs> let's see how this plays out for him. Okay, so he still has time, technically. <laughs> Maybe you can just tickle him directly, or he's not ticklish. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Does he have no idea that people are just constantly trying to make him laugh? <sighs> they can relate on this sense. Bro, y'all can fanboy. <laughs> we never see his eyes, anyways. <laughs> y'all gonna relate now. <laughs> of course it's great y'all could just fanboy boy meets best friend <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh my god this dude <laughs> I'm so sorry this is his character he wants to laugh he's a major fanboy and dude looks nothing like his attitude. He's at the desk like this, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a weirdo. <laughs> oh, he done accepted him already. All right. <laughs> you didn't make him laugh, bro. Was that intentional? I would just like swipe the paper. <laughs> His consideration for others? Your empathy. Cute, I can't. 
With all that, all my merchandise, I'd be like, oh, let's go outside. Oh, what? Don't, he can see the future? Stop. I hate this stuff so much just because I'm like, yo, sometimes you want to feel like you can relate and figure out a show. But right now, I feel hopeless. <laughs> I feel helpless. Like, I, what the hell would I do? I would just be like, <laughs> I would just be like, uh, oh, oh, that didn't work? Well, shit. No, because really, what the hell? What the hell? Like, I can't. <laughs> it's always like, when I see them, like, surpass these things, I'm just like, y'all too smart for me. Like, I can't. It makes me feel like crap, <laughs> basically. Just wait in his office there. Just sit there and be like, What do you mean he's ordinary? I mean, everyone would be like this at first. What the hell? I'd be like, all my said differently, sir. Night eye, sure, you can't see for shit. But like what? Maybe he can't avoid speed. If something is super fast, he can't avoid it no matter how much he knows about it. And yeah, he made you eat his hair. That's a good drawing right there. That's smart. But he's a pro hero, right? Like, he's out here. What the heck? Bro, what's the answer? I'm so frustrated. Like, what do you mean? What is he supposed to do? Yeah, but that's what I understand. Yeah, it's a good way to test. Believe it or not, I thought of that, but then he said he could see something wherever something happens. I was just like, what? There's nothing. Technically, he should still see it because the dude's still like. See? He still sees it. That's what I thought. He's flabbergasted. He hasn't been stepping on it this whole time. I could do this. <laughs> the way they came in. He needs energy. <laughs> OMG. So it's like there wasn't really an answer? Okay, fine. See, I'm not saying I would give up, but I wouldn't find the answer. But I guess not finding the answer was the answer. Like, like it was just a matter of not giving up. 
Why are they freaking looking like a gang in the corner trying to bully me, Doria? Small enough, I will step on you. We're getting there already, bro. Isn't this like serious to be letting you, like, and not to be like, I mean, that I can do it. I'm just saying, like. To actually just jumpstart someone into, isn't that kind of like risky for the sake of the investigation? But it's all good. I trust these boys. Oh, okay, it's the girl with the horn. The guy's right there, though. Like the first time I heard him, he has that voice, bro. Oh no, they're gonna give us the feels next week. They're gonna get the feels next week. I don't want those feels. I don't want them. Wow. Okay, so I like the pacing. You know, it gave us some nice first three episodes where it's just still very my hero. You know, the whole thing about Midoriya getting tested. Everything is still super entertaining, chill, and, and funny. It has all of it. And then after, it's just incorporating what's going down. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's already, like, bringing in the villain and having them have an opportunity to have an encounter and whatever. It's just developing that sense. He met the little girl. Um... That was really fast, like they met Boom already, which is crazy because immediately on the spot is like, holy cow, that, that's the dude fam. So it's like, how, <laughs> how do I act right here, right now? And he just, it's true, Night Eyes said to act like nothing, so that's what he had to do. He, it was clear what he had to do, but that was still crazy. So in any case, for what Midoriya was being tested on, it seems like in truth, Sir Night Eyes' eye is actually unbeatable within that first hour so I guess a lot of people oftentimes to really succeed would have to buy time unless it is beatable like I don't know but from what I understood it's like not beatable um, I guess they'd have to show us otherwise at some point but basically he already decided he was gonna take me there yeah um, I'm sure considering that he's still all my successor he definitely wanted to take him but he wanted to like make himself feel better about taking Midoriya because he felt like yeah he was doing it he was gonna accept doing it you know all night uh, but he kind of wanted to also convince himself that yeah this dude is worthy and so he tested him but it turns out that although Midoriya didn't get the stamp from him I don't think he was planning on letting Midoriya do so because if his ability is unbeatable he knows Midoriya can't do it um, but I guess he wanted to test his tenacity, how long he would hold out, and how he would handle a situation like that, basically. So he probably, he mostly wanted to see, yo, can this dude handle being under pressure, being faced with something near impossible? Can he handle this? And he did, and he got to see that not only did Midoriya not give up, he was super considerate about what was going on around him. He didn't want to step on any of the All Might merch. So that goes to show that he just doesn't only think about himself, that's one thing that's really important. And it shows that he values All Might, I guess you could say, but that he values greatly what he deems should have value, period. Um, and he was able to do all that movement under pressure, uh, feeling stressed, uh, 
probably getting, you know, provoked and stuff like that, but he was still avoiding everything that was All Might. So that just showed Night Eye that not only can this dude give up, he has a great capability in terms of thinking. He's really able to use his mind, which we've seen multiple times before. He's really able to use his mind no matter what the situation, no matter how much pressure is there, no matter what's going on. He's able to like still focus, you know what I mean? Which is an amazing quality, super amazing quality for a hero to have. So I think this really already pushed a Sir Night Eye to m much more confidently give him a stat for that paper. He felt like, yeah, okay, this dude, he's, he's good, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that was really awesome. And they're also hinting to us that something pretty messed up is gonna happen with All Might, so... so that is nerve-wracking. But I'm sure in the end he'll be okay. I hope. And then, of course, they ended us off with, like, this this climatic situation where, oh my god, he's hunting down the dude we saw in episode one. That was crazy. He already met him. And then there's the girl with the horn, which we know there's going to be a big thing. So they're introducing that as to that to us already, which is super exciting, um, and I'm hyped. <laughs> uh, so thanks a lot guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave how you guys feel, thoughts down below, no spoilers, and I'll see y'all again soon, so thank you so much, and bye!